Yo, what's up and welcome to Let Me Judge. My name is Daniel Fleerfield and today is going to be a crazy battle between Tony Gast and Thomas Kurganov, if I pronounce that right. If you're new to this channel and new to these type of videos, in these videos I react and comment on battles all around the world when it comes to calisthenic and street workout. So if you like these type of videos and also tutorials or other stuff that I do, make sure to subscribe. And this battle is from Brooklyn Zoo Call Out 6 in New York. These two athletes is top, top, top level. Crazy strength, crazy dynamics and I just know that this battle was, will be insane. And thanks to Dan Rosenberg that recorded this battle, edited it and posted it on his YouTube channel. So shout out to you. So everybody, grab your popcorn, be ready. I have my drink here ready. <sighs> I just need to relax a little bit because I'm too hyped. This will be insane. Let's start. Okay, now they're choosing who who will start and Thomas is the one starting, I think, yeah. And this gym is so cool and now it's so crowded. It just looks like an insane, insane gym. So first round, I don't know how many seconds each round is, but we'll see. West Coast Warriors. He's starting off with front flip re grab flow. <laughs> Ali hoop, Ganger. Two a foot flash! This is insane. Oh. I can't stop screaming when somebody is throwing uh, ice ball or front, front, <laughs> front flip re grab and do that flow after flow and then alley hoop and Ganger and then just up and straight to a full planche. Man, this is crazy. And the two Maltese, full Maltese. Oh, that was a nice one. I thought he was going to to a uh, switch blade, but then he just went over and, do, and did a backflip. I don't know what that trick or skill is called. Comment down below if you know. This guy is crazy. Okay, now it's Tony. Let's go, let's go. Oh my god! Uh, and he just did 720 in a competition. And he did it like it was nothing. What? Thomas was showing that front flip. I was like, damn. But this, doing a freaking 720, it's, it's not many people doing that in a competition. A lot of people are doing that on social media, but doing that in a competition, it required balls, big balls. And what? One more thing, he is just doing a giant to a full wide planche. Let's see that one more time. What? 720, what? And here, to a full planche. Ganger and cast away. Okay, this is crazy. Like the hype. Look how crowded, how close everything is. I would be scared to throw things here because the people are super close to you and he's not done. I need to breathe a bit. Tony, you're crazy. You're just crazy. Imagine if Tony did a 720 and then directly to an ice ball. It would be a killer. Two or one arm. Not super clean, but still. And a front flip. Okay, it's not done. Full planche on P bars. Press also. Down to full planche again. This is crazy. Like now, in my opinion, it's it's close. Nobody is better. Like I don't know what to say. This is just I, I'm so jealous that I wasn't there. Okay, now it's Thomas' turn, and it seems they're doing I think uh, one minute rounds, if I'm not wrong. Okay, on the floor. Full planche push up on the floor, pressing up to a handstand. Nice. 
A wide full wide wide full flash hold He's not done Oh VC walking to a full flash again what are you made of, Thomas? What are you eating? Tell me, share your secrets. And the, it's so clean. It's so freaking clean. And also the visit, everything. W who are you? You're an alien. Okay, that was his second round. It's just insane what amount of strength he has. And this was him showing the amount of strength in the planche, on the floor, on the P-bars. <sighs> I don't know what to say. I think this is one of the craziest battles I've seen so far. That is what I can say. And now it's still Tony's turn to show his second round. He goes on the straight bar. Double 360. Up to a 540. Nice flow. To a full Maltese. Crazy wide. Wait, 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 wait. Let's look back at how wide this is. Can you see how freaking wide this is? It's just insane. I'm so jealous in a good way. And up to a full plash. Oh, I don't remember the name of this move. Wait. Oh, I can't I can't remember. If you know the name of this move, please comment so I know. Insane. Oh. And backflip from the bar. He's not done. Where is he? Diamond full Flash hold. Not holding that. If I were judge, this would be extremely hard because two different stuff in the second round. Thomas was doing on the floor and Tony did on straight bar. I don't know how many runs they are doing. It's only half of the video. But let's see. Okay, Thomas. 540, Ganger directly, nice. Two, a uh, full plash. And what? He just goes up and then walks down like it's nothing, like he's on the floor. It's just insane. Man, you're alien. Oh! One arm, not as clean. As his planche. Oh, this was insane. <laughs> that was a special one. And it's not done, it's still on the floor. Like, this is what I call street workout. This is the community. Tony is standing there and helping him hold that bar. Tell me in what sport you do that, when you, where you help your opponent. The community in street work at is wonderful. That's why so many people love it. That's why this community is growing more and more. Oh, nice. And look, he's like, Leah, come on, this is crazy. Keep going. I love to see this. This is amazing to see. That was a disc. I don't know what that move is called. It looked like a ganger, but to the uh, like behind. What? They are throwing moves that I don't have the names on. Like comment down below what that move was. I wanna know. <laughs> Alley hoop, <clears throat> ganger, quick, full plash. Oh. I 
I know what that was really. Okay, he's not done. The thing is, now Tony did almost the same thing as he did in the first, no, no, the second round. He mixed it up a little bit, but it looked pretty the same. So I think this will be a minus in the end for him. Not so clean as Thomas. Thomas. Not so clean as Thomas. It seems like Thomas is just endless of endurance. He never gets tired. Wait, how many runs are they doing? It's four rounds. Now it's the fourth, I think. Ali Hoop. Ganger. Full planche. Full back lever, Hefesto. It's just insane that they are doing four rounds. I think this is fourth round. Uh, the fourth round. I'm not sure anymore. Keep going after the third round is just insane. Wide, wide, wide planche. I think this is the last round. It's just insane that they do four rounds and now it's only about how, who has the most endurance, who will be able to hold on until the end. Double 360, triple 360, four! Four, four 360s in a row. Jenger to full clash. <laughs> Going crazy. I like that he did something new. He did uh, four Queen 360s in a row. He also did some creative stuff with the uh, full planche, like dancing and also the front lever. Now it's uh, now he's going for the <laughs> floor again. It's just insane. <laughs> a nice one. Oh no 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 no. This plash is just insane. Every time I see this I'm like how can their biceps survive this? Come on come on come on hold that. Nah uh, his Damn, it wasn't stable enough. Somebody needed to hold that more stable for him to be able to perform that, but yeah. So let me predict who I think will win. I think that Thomas was the strongest one of these two athletes. Uh, he was the most hybrid and also showing the endurance that he was able to hold everything in the end, like when going to a planche, when going to four things. Tony didn't hold the planche clean, didn't hold it, hold it enough if I compare only the planche. And Thomas was stronger when it comes to actually performing the planche on the floor, on the straight bar, combination together with the dynamics. Throwing that ice ball front flip re-grab was insane, but Tony did, Tony, Tony did 720. It's just insane doing 720 in a competition. So if I were a judge, I would say Thomas would have won this. Yeah.
That's exactly what I thought that Thomas would have won. Crazy battle between these two. I would want these two to battle with only dynamics. That would be insane to watch because they are both strong in the style. But imagine they, them only doing dynamics. Damn, they would go crazy. But let me know what you thought about this battle. Who should have won? Do you think that Tony should have won this battle? Comment down below. And also make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video of Let Me Judge.